If you got a problem with me and all my friends, then listen up. We don't give up! Well, hello, it's Mr. McFlanagan, and I got another beautiful, beautiful gameplay. Boom, got him, plus 50. I hear this guy coming. Boom, got him, plus 350 payback. And I'm running the specialist setup on this class, this little MTAR, little MTAR situation. And uh, I never was a fan of the MTAR when it came out, but I've been watching a lot of the MLG players, and they all use this MTAR, so I figure there's got to be something to it. And the only problem I can see is even with the forward grip, it's still the aim on it is a little weird. But from like 20 feet, this gun is just, it's rape sauce. And I shot that guy first, but my aim just went squirrely and somehow he killed me. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. So I'm making my way up from the middle, jump shot, and no, I do not use a scuff controller. You can actually jump shot without using a scuff controller. It's a little harder, but... Whatever, because I, I think scuff controllers are gay. And I jump on this van, take him out, double kill, second place kill, and I take the time to reload here. And uh, I'm not grabbing C yet because I'm just waiting to see if anybody else pops out of the woodwork. And uh, I see this guy up here. I got the C4 sandwich out. I throw the C4 at him, boom, get a hit marker, and finish him off with the MTAR. And there goes a the doggy. Hello, doggy. Go get him. Now, uh, I'm going back to see. I'm going to see if anybody's spawning in. I go up and I'm going to tap the flag. Nothing. Nothing Security doing. C. Sometimes if you just tap the flag, it draws the enemy in because it tells them, you know, that you're capping. Which is a way to make sure that you got everybody cleared out of the area before you cap. But, uh, I heard somebody coming, so I popped off. And right there he was on the stairs. So, you can say what you want, but that was the right call. Okay. Got so we got the flag and we got C, and then they all spawn in. Boom! One jump shot. Two. Go for the third kill. Are you kidding me? He just shot me through the van. Look at this. IA2 shot me through the van. Shot me with no armor piercing on it through the van. I don't know how they people do that, honestly. Boom! Second place kill. Moving back to C. IED can't get me. So uh, I avoided the IED somehow. I shoot this guy in the back, drop shot, kill that guy. I don't know how he didn't see me, but that was awesome. Boom, there's the third kill. The fourth kill. What's coming up? What's coming up? The fifth kill? You think the fifth kill? No, I don't know how I didn't kill that guy. I was just plowing bullets into his head, but it's one of those Call of Duty mysteries. But I'm back on the grind. And then I'm going to pop up and get on top of this little bench here. Because I hear somebody coming to the right. So I'm running and gunning out here trying to hear somebody. Oh, my teammate got him. But guess you can't get them all. But I'm playing on a really good team right here, guys. Like, it's it's hard to get kills when you're playing on a really good team. Like, you have to actually go and move to, like crazy. Because, I mean, you can see I'm running and gunning this whole time. And I spray up here. Because I thought there was somebody up there, and there wasn't. They were both camping behind the truck. So that was a bad decision. Make sure you shoot. When you shoot, make sure there's somebody there. But no, I don't know. Maybe I thought I had a sixth sense. And I jump, get stunned, spam the trigger, and that dude just got a triple kill. And you hear that guy? He said, what a flashbanging queer. And I will agree. Hardly anybody uses flashbangs in this game, and when you get hit by one, it really, really, really sucks. But I guess there's nothing you can really do about that. Now I'm running behind Death Giver, rolling with his dog. I come around this corner. And I tried spamming the trigger at him because a lot, sometimes with these guns, they have so much auto-aim that if you spam the left trigger and the right trigger, you'll lock onto the target if, even if you're off by just a little bit. But that's, it's kind of a glitch in the auto-aim, but I wanna, I got another video coming up to explain that. So I hop back up on this car. I'm running over here. All kinds of stuff blowing up on me. I get a field order. And... Uh, these guys actually, the game, they they weren't that great of players, but I'm telling you, the other team was capping like crazy. Like, this was kind of a crazy match. Because it seems like the caps were just going back and forth and back and forth, you know what I mean? But I'm um, hanging out here by this uh, statue. Go up and tap on C, trying to get him to come to me, throw the C4 sandwich. Shoot that guy to the right, doesn't die, and then there's a guy right behind me crouch walking. So I, d I don't know what I was supposed to do there, but I tried to, you know, I tried to pull it off, but it didn't work. So I'm going to head back up here, front side C again. Throw the C4 sandwich. Nothing. Nobody there. And I spam it out in center. Headshot, 200. I'll take that. 
And I'm going to run back up here to see. See what's going on at sea. Boom, climb up, headshot. <laughs> that guy climbs up the ladder and walks right into a headshot. And now I, th I hear people down low, so I'm thinking there's going to be another guy pop up. So I stop here, make sure I got ammo in my gun. And then it's boom, jump back out. And then I put a half a clip in that guy and didn't kill him. I don't know how. Jump shot, cacao. Killed that guy. I'm out of ammo. Oh, crap. Knife. That's one knife. And that's two knives. And we're running up the stairs. The guy lags. That's three knives for the triple kill. Oh, you can't touch this. You can't touch this. And I think I was screaming there. Triple kill knife. Yeah. So me and my buddy here are Cap and C. Just pick that up. Drop shot. Specialist 200. I'm running through. I get hit. Oh, where's the bullets come from? Where's the bullets come from? Look at this. Target finder in a corner. Three attachments. I tell you guys, this was a great gameplay until that happened, because then I just get pissed. And I throw the C4 sandwich looking for some revenge, and it just doesn't happen. But uh, that really pissed me off. So now I'm on the warpath. I kill that guy off the spawn. And I'm, the rest of the whole match, I'm just looking for this guy that killed me pretty much, because it just pissed me off. But uh, there's, that, that brings me to something that I've been wanting to talk about in this game. You know, this game is not a bad game. I think there should be more people in the lobbies. Like, I think that that would help fill up these maps. But as far as the game itself, it's not a bad game. Like, I, I, I don't... I have no problem with the game, really. I mean, other than the IEDs and the perk system's a little funky, there just needs to be more people in the lobbies. Because, I mean, you can't find nobody. That's, that's the hardest part. You can rush and rush and rush, and all you're going to do is hurt your thumb. But, and, and part of the reason that is is that you have big maps. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Spamming this dude, and he's, he's tree-looking me. He, he's leaning around the tree. And I'm like, holy shit, how am I going to get this guy? But then the dog runs up, distracts him, I get him, and payback. That's the guy that was camping in the corner. But yeah, it brings me back to the topic I was talk, talking about, is that these are kind of big maps. And you know what makes big maps even worse? Is campers. And you know what? I've never ran into so many campers in a game ever in my life. I don't know if camping's the new cool thing, but that's that's what I keep running into is just campers, campers. And I see all these YouTubers making videos about, oh, I'm going 30 and 0 camping, blah, blah, blah. You know what? If, if that's what impresses you, if you want to camp, then, then do it. But you know what? At least be good at it, because most of them I see use target finders and thermals and camp. I mean, if you have to use a target finder, a thermal, and camp just to get a kill, you might want to consider getting a different game. Like maybe Skyrim. I hear Skyrim Online's coming out. Maybe if you don't have aim and you're, you're unskilled at a game, maybe that's what you should do. Or uh, I, World of Warcraft. I hear a lot of little dumbass kids play that game. And I mean, I tried to play that game, and it was just horribly time-consuming and stupid. But I'm thinking maybe that's more of a game for you. If you have to hide in a corner with a thermal tracker sight target finder, and three attachments on your gun, then maybe you should look for a different game to play because you're running the game that I care about. I mean, you may not care about it. You may think, oh, I'm trolling, blah, blah, blah. No, you're just a camping piece of shit. You're taking something in the game that makes it easy and using it against good players. So that's my two cents, is, is that if people would just stop camping in this game and, and start running around and not worrying about having a 3.0 KD, because, I mean, my KD's not that good, but you know what? I can still run around and rush and get a good positive gameplay. And I think that's about as good as you can hope for in this game. So, that wraps it up. We beat them 200 to 111. I mean, these kids got marked 4 and 39, 8 and 13, 3 and 39. And we had several quitters, which I hate that. Take your loss, people. Don't quit. Don't be a bitch. I mean, I, I lose games. Everybody loses games. So don't quit out. But anyways, thanks for watching. I went 28, 9, 3 caps. If you liked it, please leave a like.